Okay, so what we have now is to talk about where complex numbers, this number system, fit within all the other number systems. So we've already said that all the real numbers can be expressed as complex numbers, and that's where we either have a, a zero in for the b, right? So if the b is zero, then we know that what we've got is a complex number that's presenting itself as a real number. So if b equals zero, then we've got real numbers. And we know that if b doesn't equal zero, but we have an a, then what we have are imaginary numbers, okay? And if a doesn't equal zero, or sorry, if a does equal there, zero, then we have what we're going to call the pure imaginary numbers, okay? So that would be like 7i. But if I have 4 plus 3i, then that's an imaginary number. And imaginary numbers are part of the complex numbers. Real numbers are also part of the complex numbers. They're where the b equals zero. Now, real numbers, real numbers is made from the union, remember, between the rational numbers and the irrational numbers. Irrational numbers cannot be represented as a fraction, where a over b and b cannot equal zero, and a and b are both from the integers. So a nice way to say that, cannot be expressed as the ratio of two integers. And rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as the ratio of two integers. Then what we have down here is we have what we call the integers, and then we have the whole numbers, and then we have the natural numbers. So in class, I built this up through circles showing you how they all built up. But if you take a look at this way, your natural numbers, natural numbers are part of whole numbers. Whole numbers just have the addition of zero. And then you have your integers. Your integers have all the whole numbers. They just have the addition of the negatives. The rational numbers, which allows you to have your fractions and your decimals. Your irrational numbers, which cannot be expressed as a ratio of two integers. Two of them married together, there's a union symbol here, and that union symbol looks like this, give you what we call the real number system, and that was good enough up until today, until I blew that all apart for you. And then I gave you complex numbers. So there you go. That's how they all build up. Make sure you know it. What a great communication question. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop here, and then we'll start with examples in a moment.